very good day to you and uh, welcome to my youtube channel tech tricks i'll show you today how we can uh, configure session time out periods for your uh, remote desktop users there are two kind of uh, remote desktop users uh, uh, you are using remote desktop which one is uh, from uh, lan that didn't require to activate your terminal services manager the other one is from your various sites outside lan there you need to activate your uh, 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 terminal service remote desktop terminal services manager and you need to buy cal licenses for users let's start i will show you how uh, users are uh, connecting even though they have disconnected their sessions or uh, they are idle since long uh, you can see here this is remote desktop services manager this is a uh, session see this uh, user have i deliberately um, hide my server name and user due to security reasons uh, disconnected 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 since uh, idle time 28 minutes 20 uh, 4 minutes and uh, it's uh, one minute disconnected so you need to disconnect from server so um, other users can uh, take place for these suppose if you have uh, 20 licenses and uh, your users are uh, 60 or 50 or above 20 uh, they cannot connect consequently on the server so you have to uh, disconnect some users so the other users can take place um, simultaneously easily for this you need to go to uh, administrative tools and uh, remote desktop services then uh, you need to go to remote desktop uh, session host configurations these are your uh, remote desktop uh, configuration host manager and uh, just uh, right click here go to properties and all right user setting active session limit you can set limit here and you can overwrite user settings and you can set active session limit apply and ok the other settings are you can use for uh, remote control with the following settings use this for and required users permission and select interact with the session it means that if he already the user have already session opened he can use the same session um, the other very important for your security and keep your security at peak just set the environment you need to uh, set this environment so people cannot go to your server uh, to explore the things or they can um, delete or keep files there you can keep um, uh, their required software such as any ERP or any software you have installed your server you can set this environment and automatically it will uh, when they are trying to connect the server the program run automatically so this is the best practice this was first method the other method is to set a GPO uh, for your uh, remote desktop users and uh, set that timing for um, their session uh, to activate the GPO or uh, group policy for your users you just uh, go to start and run and uh, type gpmc.msc mm -hmm. if it's not installed or uh, activated this role just uh, you need to go to command prompt 
run as administrator and you can write when you run um, command prompt with your uh, server administrator rights just you need to type server manager cmd hyphen install gpmc and uh, this will just give a warning uh, server manager cmd.exe is uh, deprecated and is not guaranteed to be supported in the future release of windows we recommend that uh, you use the windows powershell cmd lets that are available for server manager because uh, in 2012 and 2008 8r2 in all these versions uh, there is a very powerful tool windows powershell and uh, it's just for your information but i hope it will install this um, gpmc role uh, let's see it's installing we need to wait it will show the progress um i think there is a restart pending please restart the computer before trying to install more roles features and uh, we need to first restart uh, i'll be just back after restart so after restarting we will uh, use the same command server manager cmd hyphen install gpmc no change actually it's installed already and uh, i will show you now how you can uh, configure session timer for all the users with gpu now go to uh, run and gpmc.msc and uh, this will open the this uh, group policy management console and uh, you just need to edit this by default policy or whatever you have already applied just go to computer configuration and go to policies here you need to go to administrator tools and uh, windows components in windows components you need to go to remote desktop services and here uh, connection client and uh, remote desktop session host in remote desktop session host mm, environment and uh, session timeout limits here you go here you can set uh, set time limit for disconnected sessions if user disconnected like I shown you if user disconnected you can enable this to disconnect after 30 minutes or one hour apply okay or 15 minutes it's up to you set time li limit for active but idle remote desktop services session there are difference in uh, these two this is uh, you need to set time limit for a user is active he didn't disconnect it but for idle for one hour or two hour or three hour you can also configure this and it's up to you or 15 minutes one hour two hour it's up to you uh, you can configure uh, that's end it's all just uh, I've shown you computer I have shown you in this video two uh, things for remote desktop sessions timeout with the uh, 
remote desktop configuration host manager and with gpu thank you very much for seeing this video